Hey everybody! What's the dumbest thing Pete or Mike has ever done? Stick around to find out! Because it's time for the Mythwits, the show dedicated to all things geek pop culture, drenched in absurdity, and coated with sarcasm. Every week we bring on an industry guest, maybe not this week, to talk about the ever expanding Gigaverse and to play a game with us. We do our damnedest to be funny, but there are no guarantees. I'm your host, Peter Bryant, and the only person joining us this week is Mike Havens. And look, I gotta fix this thing. Ah, oh, man. I got so messed up today. Here we go. How about. Boop. There we go. We fixed that. I got so messed up today with this OBS at the last minute. Mike and I are about to go live. I'm setting everything up, and all of a sudden, poof, everything's thrown off. So I'm sorry that the beginning of the show had a little glitch there, Mike. I don't know if you caught it or not, but it was a little tiny bit of a glitch there. But it's all cleaned up now. Anyway, uh, at least we have sound. At least I think we have sound. Anyway, so Mike and I, uh, we don't Hello. have a guest this week. Hey, Mike. Oh, say hi to everybody, Mike. Hey. Say hi, I'm Mike. Hot. Hello, everyone. I'm the guest this week. Yeah, okay, so Mike's the guest. Sure, fine. Fair hey, enough. Because, no, because your, your dumbass was like, ah, you know, you're on vacation, right? Well, let's not do a show. And I'm like, yeah, not so fast there, buddy. I'm going right. to have internet access at the hotel. We're doing this show. And you're like, oh, come on. No. And I'm like, no, what's the golden rule? <sighs> golden rules keep Pete working, right? Make yes, Pete right. work. Right. That's right. So anyway, anyway. Uh, yeah, so we didn't have a guest. Mike was Mike was going away this week. Uh, are we with the scouts this week with your uh, – I know you're not right now, but are you with the scouts this week or are you just on vacation, vacation this week? No, I'm on vacation, man. Jenny and okay. I went on vacation. We went camping for two days, and now we're actually at a hotel that's in th Ocean City. That's what threw me off. You said you were going to the campground, and I naturally assumed you would be with the kids and, and scouts and stuff because yeah. that's normally what you do when you yeah. go camping. Okay, great. All that's right. true. So, yeah, yeah. But we so, actually – no, this was like a vacation thing, and uh, so we went – to the first time we went to the Delaware Shore uh, State yeah. Park, and we stayed uh, in this place. It was really, it was nice. That place was good, but the place we stayed at Assateague was even better. Nice. Uh, although, although we didn't see any horses. It was, ooh, pet a horse. Hey, ooh, it's a season a thing. It's a season thing. Oh, I'm saying is there? They were like, oh, it's so dangerous. You got to ratchet strap your food. And so I the horses. ratchet straps. Right. I was like, nice. one. We were leaving over the bridge and was like, oh, look, there's a horse. <laughs> <laughs> so, hey, so for anyone who's not familiar with where we live in the world, there's uh, we live on the uh, eastern shore, mid-Atlantic, mid uh, like kind of middle America, eastern shore. Uh, and there are these two islands. There's Chincoteague and Assateague Island. And on these two islands <laughs> live uh, – uh, Mike, Mike. So I know, on I these, know. I know, I know. So on these two islands live horses, and I can't remember if one. I think, I think they, they're basically wild so on Assateague. Hey, Mike. I, the, they're not. It's not. Just shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. All right. So anyway, so there, I believe they live wild on um, on Assateague, right? And then they 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 have them swim across the bay. To Chincoteague or Chincoteague, as it's called, where they do horse auctioning or something, auction, auctioning or something like that. Uh, is that is that right, Mike? Is that, am I getting I it right? I don't know about them auctioning horses off. I'm they do. State. Oh no, no, they totally oh. do. Oh, I, I don't know about any of that. That I, I do know. I I can't remember okay. which island they go. I, I'm pretty sure it's Assateague is the wild island where they live, and then they. They herd a bunch of them off to Chincoteague, and then they auction them off to like ranches and stuff. And uh, you know, they 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 sell them off to. We, we were hard pressed to find a horse. We weren't trying to buy a <laughs> horse, all right. But I'll tell you this: they tell you, don't feed the horses. Right. Don't. And, and the great thing is, don't tease the horses. And I'm like, right. what are you going to do? Tease the horses? <laughs> oh, David David Benavidi says says Brony Island. <laughs> oh, <laughs> nice. Yeah, yes, man, I could have gotten my own. Uh, what is that thing called? The mark? I could have gotten. Brand oh, your cutie passport. mark. Yeah, my right. cutie mark. Your cutie mark. I could have gotten that. Oh, yeah. well. Maybe anyway. Next time. So, so. Yeah. Nah, so Mike, we just Mike, we something happened to there. Mike. Oh, so yeah. So we're in the campgrounds. We're in Delaware, as a matter of fact. And this is, this thing happens to me, and as it's happening, Pete, I'm going. And, and it is a way because. It's something that is, as you will soon find out, it's a little traumatic to me, especially to me, someone like me in a men's room. I'm trying to just go somewhere else. You know what? This would be a thing I should tell Pete about. This would be a great story. And of course, where else did I tell this story but here, right? Uh, you saved it for us. I sa 
who who else would care more about this story than than you and our friends right our our myth fits so right so here it is and i'm not a quite I, i've been thinking about how i'm going to present this so i think i'm just going to present little pieces here and there all right <laughs> i'm sorry paul Nunes. paul Nunes, sorry paul Nunes says did mike break into some old folks home for the wi-fi <laughs> No, no, Paul. This is what all the all the fucking houses down the ocean look like. They all yeah. look like some old yeah. folks' home. It's a little bed and breakfast villa. It's a little. Yeah. Well, when I say when you say this around here, quaint means you pay less because you're not like at the Hilton, okay? Because the Hilton right. in Ocean City is four hundred dollars. This right. was not. So it was not right. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so go ahead. Right. Tell your story. But but it doesn't have a urinal. It had you know it, it has a regular bathroom. That said, uh. Pete, you know, you know how I am about the bathroom situation, yeah. right? Yeah. Because, because Mike's yeah, got go bashful bladder. I'd like to think of it as uh, I am. Uh, I'm a monk. I'm a, I'm a I'm a Shaolin monk in the bathroom. I like to, and I believe everyone should take a vow of silence when they're in the bathroom. Don't you think so, Pete? No. 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 You don't. Especially when I'm in the bathroom. When you're in the bathroom, I like to talk to you. Yes, you do, and, and and you like to make make plop plop noises and go, oh wow, oh, yay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'll, there, Mike. right, I'll blow one out and I'll be like, woo, that one went out nice and smooth, yes. nothing but net yes. on that one, nothing but net. <laughs> so, all right, so uh, that said, that needed to be prefaced. I'm in the bathroom doing my thing. I'm peeing. <laughs> I'm 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 getting zen. I'm getting Shaolin like Lao Tzu. Right. I'm channeling. I'm just like, all right, and I got a stream going. Now, go oh, okay. ahead. What? No, I'm listening. I'm 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 putting oh. my I'm there with you. I'm oh, I'm right. you're I, you're I in the urinal. You're be there with me. Now, as we all know, in restrooms, I'm rubbing your you back. Know, no, no, you're not. No, you're not. Not right, right now. I'm, no. Right. Okay. <laughs> well, that is frowned upon in this establishment. So we are in the bathroom. Now, as you know, in bathrooms urinals there's about you know three to four big boy urinals and yeah. then a little boy urinal okay right, right. that's the one so, i use yeah yeah the little boy urinal right mm -hmm. right well mm -hmm. you know what what are you four four seven four eight what are you right <laughs> oh, yeah, five know. eight i just i just don't want to get my penis wet right yeah yeah okay all right <laughs> sure whatever <laughs> oh my god <laughs> go ahead. i'm sorry i'm sorry good well let me tell you something A six foot, I don't know. Uh, he was like almost hitting the ceiling, comes in. A giant. Right? A giant among yeah. little men using the big boy urinals. And, right. and he, he goes up next to me and he proceeds to pee. Now, mm -hmm. normally I wouldn't give two shits less. I wouldn't even have known anything that was going on next to me because I'm, so, You're I'm zone. so in the zone. I'm in the zone, right? So, My yearling. But... I'm wearing my my, uh, my flip flops. <laughs> yeah, 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 you know where this is going, don't you? Sprinkles. Oh, it was. The, I felt so goddamn violated. Okay, and there's nothing I can do other than I'm slowly inching it around. I'm slowly inching my foot back. You know, like like. Oh God, I've been there, been there. <laughs> and it's just like, wow. And, and the thing I can think about is. Why did the six foot five guy who evidently didn't? I mean, it, oh, oh, Pete, it was it, it was psychologically damaging. Was he right next to you? Yes. Oh, it's, oh, he broke the golden rule. And it's oh, cycling. you know the golden rule, right? If there's if there are, if there are five urinals and you're in this one, you go all the way to the end. Or maybe one or two in, possibly, but never the one right next to you. Never. I'm I'm a little traumatized by the whole situation, so I can't even tell you in retrospect who was where. Although there was a someone else who was maybe a ways <laughs> over on this side. All I know is this six foot five fucking motherfucker did not need to be in the fucking kitty urinal splashing. Like I, all I can think about is okay, just it's so. And it's, it's like making the loudest noise. The stream is just like, <laughs> and I'm like, please, at this point, I'll be happy if it doesn't hit me in the face. 
You know what I mean? Like flashback in the face. <laughs> it's Paul so Nunes. mortifying. It was so I hated it. Paul Nunes is singing to you. Raindrops keep falling on my toes. Oh my, oh my <laughs> and Michael Ward yeah. says, "Golden, really? <laughs> nice." Like a golden foot shower or something. Uh, ooh. So maybe so, he thought. Hey, maybe he thought you stepped on a jellyfish. Were your toes red? <laughs> <laughs> did they... <laughs> no, I did not step on a jellyfish. All right. All right. No. But it was. <laughs> oh God. Michael Ward said maybe it's a horse. Maybe it was a horse. <laughs> no. You just no. thought it was a guy. It was a horse you were missing. <laughs> Well, oh, I don't know. This shit. guy maybe rode in on the horse. I don't know. Right. All right. So he oh, got you. It was. He got me. I mean, what yeah. else do you do other than have to share this with people? I guess. Yeah. I, I just. Yeah. It just doesn't make any sense to me. You right. know, little guys you, like us. Did, did we can you get away with that? Did you oh, wash oh, 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 your out, feet? Time out. Time out. No. Hold on. It, yeah. Here's something that'll make the story even better. All right. Okay. In in Maryland, we don't care about water conservation so much. I don't know why. You know, but because we, we got so much of it, it's a swamp. Yeah. yeah. So, so what do we do? Yeah, there's just plenty of water. So you're thinking to yourself, oh well, you know, there's pee hitting the hitting the water, and then it's splashing out. So you're getting you're getting like a um, what is that called? You know, what is it? The uh, the the backsplash. Science. No, no, you know, like where they 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 you know they they take pee and then they they mix it with water and then they divide it and then you know what I mean? So dilution. Yeah, the, the, the dilution, but what is that called? You know, homeopathy? homeopathy? Okay. Oh, it's homeopathy. Yeah, yeah. Right, yeah. Okay. Right, yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. Fine. You would think, oh, no, it's home homeopathic water, you know, yeah, pea water, right, because it's been right. split. And it's a... In the state of Delaware, and especially by the water, they have waterless toilets. Oh, goody. So you couldn't even oh, stick yeah, your yeah. foot in the toilet to clean it so, off. So I'm getting raw. <laughs> I'm getting like the raw, like, pee. You know what I mean? It's oh. just like un uncut. Oh, I'm seeing what you say. So in other words, he's peeing in the urinal, and normally you right. would think, like in Maryland, yeah. it would hit the water that's in the urinal and splash right. out, and it'd be a little diluted, mm -hmm. maybe a little bit. No, yeah. you're getting you're getting the pure essence. It's like it's I'm like pure, pure, like uncut. right from the tap, uncut urine on your toes. Yes, yes. Nice, nice. So that was the thing that happened, and uh, we will never speak of this <laughs> after this day. <laughs> but, but yes we will i just thought i i would thought i'd share that with everyone because i, I don't know if, if this is a unique thing i don't know if because you know usually it could have happened to me a hundred times in the past i would never know because i rarely wear flip-flops right okay? it could have been hitting your shoes you would not know yeah, who knows who cares who knows right, right? it's a shoes. shoes right right no harm done right Right. This is bare flesh. This is, <laughs> this is flesh. flesh. Right. Pa harm done. <laughs> harm done. Harm done. Oh, dude. That Psychological. Is, that, I swear that... to God, I went into the shower and I felt like I was just like on my foot, just like, Argh! you know, like. Ugh. That. That is a beautiful story, Mike. And you, you, you told it so well. <laughs> All and right, that, so Mike, that, that was the impetus for us deciding that we were going to do a show since I'm on vacation, and I right. was going to trying to convince you. I said I have got, I've got the story, among all stories, and and then we say, oh, well, let's tell some other stories that we were talking about telling. So, all right, so, I you know nowadays people are a little sensitive to to things of any kind of sexual nature whatsoever. So we've got people in the chat room. We've got three people watching right now. I'm just gonna put this in here. I've got a, a I've got a sex story that I wouldn't mind telling. It's not graphic. I won't go into graphic. I won't go into any of the this went where it's tiny bit graphic, just a little bit, like suggestively maybe a tiny bit graphic. Um, but if you guys are not cool with that, we'll move on. We'll tell another story in the meantime. Go ahead, say something in the comment room if they want to hear it or not. So, and, and let me let me preface this. This whole story we could tell from the time that you decided, hey, let's go to Ocean City and mm -hmm. scope out a place for next week that we're going to stay in. Right. So this is a yeah. This is a this whole. This is how the story that. While I'm not going to say it has a happy ending. Uh, no, it actually. Anyway, no, yeah, go ahead. Doesn't no. really have a happy no. ending. Right. So I just you know. Um, 
what, let's just, you know, and, and I told you, we'll just, you know, we'll gloss over. We'll use All right. No, we'll, you know, we'll go to the next story. Hold on. Michael Wirt says, where's the geek content? Okay, Mike, we're going to hook you up. We're going to skip right to a We got a geek content story. We got one. We got a good one. Mike, uh, oh, we're giving names to these stories. So that one was bathroom time with Mike. But I'm thinking about changing it because he wouldn't tell me anything about the story ahead of time. So I'm going to, I'm changing that one to golden foot was the story. Um, golden, golden foot, foot shower. Yeah, right. So we're actually going to tell. We're going to tell one. We're going to tell. We're going to tell a, uh, a a story about the time that Mike and I we went to Penzik. So it doesn't get much geekier than that. This this is a. Uh, so if you're not familiar with Penzik, it's the one of the. I think. I think it's the biggest event. If it's not the biggest event of the SCA, it's the biggest East Coast event of the SCA. So I'm not really totally sure, but it's humongous. It's this huge. Uh, event that happens, I think it's in August. It's it's in summertime. Uh, it's a big, I don't know, a couple a thousand people. A couple thousand people go. They come from all over the country. They have big wars. Like they don't just have like skirmishes and battles. They have fucking full on hundreds and hundreds of people going at each other with for, with right. weapons and armor and. Pete, for anyone yeah. in the cheap seats, for anyone who's in the cheap seats right now, what is the SCA? Oh, Spence said that it is the biggest worldwide SCA event. Okay, fantastic. All right, so okay. SCA is for the Society for Creative Anachronism. It is the most lifelike and tries to be the most true um, uh, uh, medieval rec recreation type event that is not like a total straight up recreation. So they don't they don't necessarily recreate battles. They do recreate battles, but that's not like the goal. Like they, they will do just other battles too, like just make up stuff. Right. Um, and they, they actually have fights and stuff. So they're not, it's not live steel. This is like, you know, padded weapons and stuff like that. And, but they do wear, I mean, the armor is like friggin' the, the armor. Like they don't let you wear like rubber tires and shit like that. Yeah, but they what do, do they like call that Mike? Jousting. What do they call that? What? Mundane. Remember that? Oh, <laughs> <Right>. God. <laughs> so anyway, so we went, and this was back in 92? Uh, 91, 92, that's fair. 90, yep, yep. Yeah, 91, 92, somewhere in that time frame. Rattan weapons, yes, that's correct. So we we, uh, we go, oh, Spencer says, dude, get me on this thing. <laughs> Spence, we're going to get you on sometime. We can tell SCA stories another time, but we get, Mike and I have an agenda. We'll, we'll bring you in. We'll bring in for SCA stories the next time we do uh, uh, Ask Us Anything. Um, so so we're there. We go to this event, and we go with my brother, right? And my brother is um, – he's an interesting fellow. He, uh, mm -hmm. he has some difficulties in life. And so we, we wind up at his place, and we're waiting for him to get ready, and he takes forever. Anytime you go with Randy anywhere, it takes him like three, four, fucking five hours to, to, to get together. Anytime we've ever gone camping, anytime we've yes. ever gone camping, it has been hitting the road after hitting the store. We're hitting the road at 2 o'clock in the right. morning. In the morning. Right. Yeah, it can be It can be as late as – like. Yep. well, no, we, no, we usually get to the campsite about midnight, right, Mike? It's usually setting up the camp in the middle of the night. It's yeah. Getting there when the sun comes up is what it is. But that sure, has so happened. It. That has happened. Yes. All right, anyway, anyway, so we get we get to Penzik, and we we uh, we get we get to Penzik. They they tell us where we can go. It's the middle of the fucking night, right? Um, so we go and we mm. find a tent space in the fucking pitch black. Uh, we set up our tents and stuff. Of course, we set them up on rocks and you know everything else because you can't see what you're doing. And this isn't the first time that we've been to one of these events with with my brother, um, but this time this was the last, right, Mike? This was the last time we went to one of these what events. What was the title of this story, Pete? Uh, oh, I'm sorry. The title of the story is "We Got Mud." We got so mud. So we, we, we go to the Pensick event, and it rains the entire fucking time we're there. Like the like the entire time we're setting the tent up, it started raining. So we set the tents up in the rain. We get in the tents. We sleep. Fucking rain, 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 rain. These are old school tents too. These aren't these like, you know, like these really cool like dome tents you have today. These are like fucking right. tents, you know. You touch a side and you get wet. And so we wind up getting soaked. I think all of us did, right? Uh, that's an understatement, but yes. <laughs> so, so I think all of us wound up sleeping in the car, right? Was that about right? Well, okay. So Cars. Can I can I like give you some yeah, sure. fill in yeah, the yeah. blanks here? All right. Yeah. So we get there, we set up, and then we're like, all right, if anything is going to salvage this, 
this this night is going to be alcohol. Right. So we get in the car. Oh. And we and we head to the ABC store because yes, we're in right. Pennsylvania or something. So we head to the ABC store, and we get to the store. I think we buy something, but then Zach's car won't start. Right. <laughs> Zach's car fucking doesn't start. Like it's dead. Like dead. Why, dead. Why do a lot of our stories start with or <laughs> end or somewhere in the middle? A car does not start. Right, because we were poor. Yeah. That, right. Okay. Thank you for answering that question. Right. Yeah. So Zach's car won't start. I think he had to get it towed. Right. He had, yes, to, he call had to call a tow truck to come and get it. So we get there late as fuck. We set up tents. Uh, this was one of the ones we got there in the middle of the night. We got there at dark, but we did manage to get alcohol because it wasn't that late yet. But it was night. Then Zach's car got towed. So then we all take Randy's car back. Right. We start that, and then that's when it started raining when we got back. So we get in and the tents, is, and no, I think the don't. tents. What? No, no, we slept in the cars that night. No, we did, we did. No, so no, no, hold on. No, it was raining its ass off. We got in the tents, and I think the tents had flooded because they were kind of on a hill, and the water yeah. ran into yeah. the tents. Is okay. that what it was? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what it was. The water ran right into the fucking as, tents. As long as we can agree that we spent the night in tents. We, I mean, that we no, spent cars. the night in the car. In the car. We did because yeah. that's important. Because Mike, didn't you wake up with your head like fucking like ninety degrees? <laughs> I woke up. I had been sleeping in the back of the car that was parked on the hill, and I slept <laughs> with my feet in the air and my head. I woke up with the most amazing headache. <laughs> and we probably and didn't have like, any Advil or anything, right, or aspirin no, or whatever. Not, not for a while, but everyone's looking at me like, "Well, what did you hell did you sleep like that for, you stupid?" And I'm like, "Well, <laughs> what the hell did you tell me not to do that then, stupid?" <laughs> it was so anyway, the most miserable time. Not to belay it or anything. That was the whole weekend. The whole week. It rained the whole fucking weekend. Rain, 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 rain. I mean, it was like flooding. There were almost no battles. A lot of the shops were closed. Whole fucking weekend was ruined because of the rain. I mean, it just fucking rained and rained and rained some more. This was my first SCA event. And Pete's like, you're going to love this, man. It's so cool. <laughs> this is so awesome. Oh, So much now, fun. Yeah, it's so much fun. We have so much fun every year. And I'm just like... When's the fun going to begin? Right. And we all decided, and your brother, Randy, was a little put out, but we all outvoted him. We're like, we're leaving. Yeah, we're leaving. We're out of here. We're Fuck done. this. And he's like. And sleeping bags, everything was soaked. It was still raining. Right. There was, there was not a positive thing in sight. Right. So we pack up, and what happens? So Randy goes to get his car. No, no. What happens first before he goes to get his car? Oh. It stops fucking raining. Oh, maybe it did, yeah. 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 Anyway, is that good? No, I... Because you know where I'm going with the car story yeah, now. right. So right. he gets the... All right, so Randy goes to get his car. No, he goes to get his car. Yeah. And it's, like, been, what, a half hour, an yeah. hour? Right. Hour. We're just fucking standing Again, there. Again, it's, like, typical Randy. Right. Someone but should have like, babysat his ass. Where is Randy. And, and of course, as we're like, any minute he's going to come riding up with the car, he's just walking up. Hey, where's the car? Yeah, where's the car? It's over. A, I, I drove it over an embankment. What? <laughs> yeah, you come with me. What? And so, of course, we got to come with him. So we go walking over around the corner down. Oh, the yeah, Spence, you're right. The parking area is a half a mile away. Yes. So, somewhere in between there, uh, Randy did something where he was trying to do a Yui or he made a wrong turn or whatever, and he backs up. And all right, so a car has four wheels, right? And so he took one wheel and boop, the back wheel, and he was backing up, like completely, like, uh, what do you call it? Uh, bottomed out the car over yeah, this. Yeah, the, the, the axle is sitting on yeah. the dirt, and the fucking yeah. wheel is hanging over the edge, yeah. right? One wheel. So, so they get, I don't even think they got a tow. Did they, was it a tow truck or was it nope. just a truck? It was. <laughs> Peter, a tractor? Peter. Was, was it a tractor? tractor. It, was it was a tractor. tractor. Right, right. Okay. Yes. Right. I mean, like, like Farmer Ted, John Deere, right. big ass so, tractor. Wraps a fucking chain, chain around a bumper. Yeah. Fuck starts pulling the car. Right. Yeah. Mike and I are standing there watching him pull this car out. Uh, come on, you have you have got to use some sort of a of a of a, a prop. Yes. You All right. Need props. So this. Hold on. Let me get something else. Here. This is better. So this is the embankment, right? Now Randy's tire. Is hanging over the embankment like this, okay? 
So the guy's pulling the car up, and the, and the car's like, right? And the fucking tire <laughs> this is the best part. starts fucking doing this. My it's fucking tire's... It's turning sideways. Like, the car is still like this, and the tire is like this. And it's we're like, all thinking... Like, everyone, every one of us is like, oh, God, we're not going home now. Oh, yeah, we're not God, going home. Right. It's going to tear the tire right off the... No, it's no, going to no, tear no, the no, axle continue. right off right, the car. Right. So continue, because nobody so knows about these it's, tire rods and all this other... It's like going like this. Going like this. I mean, the fucking thing is almost 90 yeah. degrees, right? Yeah. And I'm and waiting for the thing to... Right, and it's like drag. I'm waiting for the thing to like fly off through yep. the air and just <laughs> through the air and like fucking decapitate somebody, right? And the car gets up, car gets up, and boink, and pops. Like, just perfect. Like, bam. and then the car's fine. Like, there's no way. There's no right. way. No. No, we're, we're in complete denial over the fact that right. the car is going to be drivable. Right, and, there's no way this yeah. worked. Yeah. And, and but it, it did. This, it was at this exact moment when Pete decides to play I Call the game now and, and he was within his right because i drove down with zach with two cars and he drove down with his brother now you know again we're not we're not gonna we're not gonna there's nothing mean because we do love randy he is yeah. you know, his family and everything else but uh evidently it's randy <laughs> pete decided i'm going home with zach today <laughs> and he just i call it i call it i'm going home with zach and just decided to leave me <laughs> to ride in the lift mobile. Can I wait for that fucking wheel to roll off while you're going down the road? And then if it couldn't get any worse, I'm thinking, all right, well, I guess I'm going to be in the passengers <laughs> with Randy. Randy goes, hey, Mike, would you mind driving? <laughs> I'm really tired. <laughs> I'm very tired. <laughs> you want me to drive your limp ass tire drag mobile over the cliff you want me to drive that home while look, you sleep this car is a big giant fucking boat station wagon this is like a 1978 station wagon wooden wooden on the you know the wood paneling on the sides the Hollywood. whole fucking thing right so mike's driving down the road uh -huh. we're going yeah, home I'm gonna, I'm gonna let you tell the story we're 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 i don't know we're still in the turnpike pennsylvania turnpike yeah yeah we're going down the road. <laughs> fucking oh. Yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> fucking car in front of us. My, now, Zach and I are in the front, and Randy and Mike are following. Zach's got a Ford Tempo, right. which is like which is like a Daytona 500 car compared to what I'm driving, <laughs> right. by the way. Right. right. So, Zach's car, right? Randy's car, right? Randy's like a fucking bus. And, and the steering wheel might be a little bit loose, right, Mike? Little, little, a little bit. bit, yeah, yeah. Little so <laughs> we're driving down the road. Tire rocks fuck, being what they are. The fucking bike f falls off a car, right? <laughs> and Zach, Zach goes, shunk, right? It just like literally is, whoop, whoop, right? Yeah, <laughs> and yeah. and it was, it me, was like was literally great. zing, whoop, whoop. <laughs> I just see this bike in front of me, and I mean, literally, <laughs> it's like right there. So I do the only thing that I could do. I get, and, and, and this is because I was young and dumb. I didn't even look, dude. I didn't right. even look. <laughs> I just like, oh, oh, oh. now, I cannot even begin to tell you the series of events that took place after this. Oh, wait a minute. I can. Here's how it went. I went over this way, all right? Then when I went back, okay, all the momentum carried Randy, who was sleeping, through the whole thing. <laughs> Sound asleep. He, he literally, and I'm like driving, he literally just flops on me as I'm like, ah! <laughs> I not only have to keep this car on the road without this dying. Boat of a car. <laughs> and, I mean, Randy is not, I mean, he's tall. He's a... Right. Uh, He's not overly stout, but he was, he's, uh, he's thick, he's a little, you know, yeah. Got yeah. Weight on. And, and I'm like, I'm gonna, like <laughs> throw him and, and I'm like, constantly try and overcompensate the car. I don't know how many times I swear to God. I think that was the probably the <laughs> single most time I ever came closest to death in my life that I felt like I'm going to die. I there's, what do I, what do I do? I, Cause you're just waiting for the car to like, 
careen a little too much one way and go into yeah. one of those fucking movie like flips, I, right? I'm waiting for it to flip. I'm, actually, I'm waiting for it to hit the side or hit another car. Because <laughs> right. the thing that goes through my mind right before Randy flops on me like a dead fish is, oh my God, I didn't even look. You know what I mean? Like, you know how you think about it? Like, you could have hit a car. Yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> and, so like, and, then, and then I'm like, oh, okay. Uh, that's not an important thing to be thinking about right now. It's just. This, and, and literally, after I threw him back, he didn't even wake up. Right. <laughs> I'm like, he's like, well, what's, what's going on? I'm like, would you wake the fuck up? We almost died here. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then I had to say, we were still close to Pittsburgh by that point or whatever. And I was like, I was like, I had to wait all that time until we finally got home before I could literally wrap my hands around Zach's neck. <laughs> Oh, my yeah, God. You're going to have to watch the chat room because I don't know why my my phone is not getting I'm watching. The, uh, I got okay. it. Anyone saying so, anything? Uh, your mom says Laurel and Hardy much. Yeah, pretty much. Oh, my And uh, God. Spence said, we do the SCA show that I'm part of. I will tell you the tales of the t- the two chucks. That's that's good. All right, we'll have to do that. Um, oh, definitely. So do we want to do another geeky one or a non-geeky story? Because we've got another geeky story. Well, it's, it's a I you mean, story. Hold on. This is Wade who was saying this before, right? No, yes, yes. All right. So, Wade, you have to understand something. No, I'm sorry. No, Michael Wart. Michael Wart. Oh, Wart. Okay. Mike, I want you to understand something if you're still watching. Hopefully you are. Uh, we are, like, 99% of our, our content is definitely geek-related. We have guests on and everything else, because you saw last week. This just happens to be where I would not let Pete skip a week because I was going to be on vacation. So, we're just trying to fill the content. We did, didn't have a guest to come on, and we thought, and we just try and do a little personal thing. And... I know, like, if you're a, uh, a fan who's been a little bit here a little bit longer, you can appreciate these stories. But we hope you take this with a little bit of grain of salt. And, and we promise you, like, normal, geeky, awesome content. But, you know, hopefully you could be entertained by these stories because uh, we, we suffered, suffered for them. Yeah, yeah. yeah we, suffered. we suffered for these. <laughs> so, so, Mike. Um, I had my foot peed on for you, okay? Right. So, so Mike, <laughs> I, I'll, give you a, I'll give you a choice. I'll give you a choice okay. of the next one. <clears throat> All right. All right. We're either telling Chub Rub, uh, Hammer Jack's Hurlathon, oh, that's a good one. or Pete's Triple X Theater. I mean, I don't even think I've heard Pete's Triple X Theater. Really? I don't... It's not a long one. It's a short story. You want a short story? <laughs> we'll do a short one. Triple X Theater, and you say it's not a long one. Now you've got my attention. Oh, now I got your attention. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So this is, this is a short one. So we were... Oh God, Corey Scott said Mike, Mr. Mike met R. Kelly. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I go pee on you. All right, so, <laughs> yeah, so six we... foot, six foot four, huge, weird, bearded, Republican R. Kelly. Yeah, that's what it, I met. Sure. So we were, we were. Um, I was in the, I want to say seventh grade, right? And one of my buddies, Dave, uh, he found his father's. Um, real to real. So you gotta remember, all right, look, we're going back, we're going in the before time, children. Going in the before time. If I was in the <laughs> seventh... The land, land before internet? Is that what you're talking it, about? This is... Dude, this is the land before f- fucking most things. All right, so... Land before, <laughs> land before cell phones. Right. Oh, oh, God. Fuck yeah, way before cell right. phones. Yeah, okay. Um, this is, uh, 1980, 1983. Yeah. 80, 82, 83. All right. Somewhere in there. You, you were how old? I was, let's see, I was in the seventh grade, so I was 13, 12, 13, 12 or 13, somewhere in there. So my buddy Dave, now it was me, Dave, and Roy were like the three musketeers in our elementary school in our class and so Dave found his found his uh, father's reel to reel and his dirty movies yet oh Spence wasn't born yet <laughs> so we found his <laughs> we found his found his pops dirty movies right so these no sound or anything these are old like you know reel to reel right you're talking about, oh my god like yeah real to, stag, super eight super stag, eight stag yeah movies. stag film these are like straight up stag films Wow. And not only that, but he had he had the screen too. So Dave sneaks the, the the projector, a bunch of the fucking movies out, and the screen. 
we take it to Roy's house. Now, Roy lived with his mom. Uh, him and his, his mom and his dad had split. He lived with his mom and his stepfather. And he had a room down in the basement. Now, Roy had always been handy, so they let him build his own room down in the basement. So he took a chunk of the basement, built a fucking room, and we used to hang out there all the time, and his mom didn't, like, pay attention to what the hell he was doing, you know? So we got away with a lot of shit. Like, I'd go hang out at Roy's and so I could do whatever I wanted. Yeah, well, weren't there times when, like, no one was supposed to be there, but they were there and... Oh, yeah, sure. Yeah, okay, yeah. all right. Well, there were times I was supposed to be other places and I was there, times I was supposed to be there and I was other places, whatever. So I'm at Roy's. We decide that we're going to – when I say we, it was probably me because I was – back then I was almost always the instigator. I said, hey, we should charge money and show the other guys in the class these movies. They could come over and we could charge them a quarter and they could watch these fucking movies, right? It's a great idea, right? What, what could go wrong? What could go wrong, Mike? What could go wrong? I, I- I don't see anything. I mean, it's it's lucrative. It's got it's got all kinds of uh, danger and I was a I was an entrepreneur. Yeah, entrepreneur. If, if there was one thing you have always been, it is uh, willing to sacrifice your life for a buck. So go ahead. What's what's, <laughs> so, what's going on? How yeah. did this how did this go down? Uh, all right. So yeah, like I said, so it's a short story. So uh, so we we did this a couple times, and Dave's brother Wayne, who was a nerd big nerd nerdy kid you know right he's like two years younger than dave and he never liked doing anything wrong he never cursed he got upset when we cursed around him he fucking shows up right and we're thinking well maybe we'll cool him out well that was not mm -mm, Mm -mm. that was a bad idea now fortunately for whatever reason i wasn't there for this for this time wayne was there and he starts seeing these movies and he starts freaking out he's like who what am i watching you know so he Goes back home at some point and tells his dad. Narks. That no narks, narks. Tells his mom. Narks on everybody, right? Again, fortunately, I wasn't there for that particular time. Did you guys I cut him in for profitability? Did you kind of cut him in for culpability? I mean, oh, he I'm wouldn't sure. have. He, he wouldn't have gone for it. He was too, uh, too, too goody two shoes. So Roy gets busted. Roy, Dave's mom calls Roy. Says, what the hell's going on? Right? Dave's father... And Dave's mom come up. So what does Dave's father see? Right? His projector. (laughs) His movies. His screen. He can't say shit. Right? Because then... (laughs) (laughs) Because his wife will know... Didn't know know she had it. Didn't know he had it. So he's like... He was like... Like... You know, he's like, "Oh, boys, this is this is terrible." But he was like really laid back yeah, about yeah. it, like like overly well, uh, laid back, like, "Hey, honey, let me handle yeah, this. Let me handle I'll, this, honey, I'll, right?" I'll, <laughs> <laughs> right? That's awesome. Um, and so the guys got in a little trouble. It wasn't that. It wasn't that big a deal. Uh, nobody. But you know what was cool? Dave never narked on his dad because Wayne didn't yeah. know where Dave got this shit. Right, and Dave never narked on his dad to his mom, which was cool. Which I think kept Dave from getting in too much trouble. But it was... Isn't that kind of like the spirit of uh, proud to be an American or something? Here? I don't, I don't know what that is, but you know, oh my God. So, and, and you just got away. You, you weren't implicated at I, all. Nope, skated that one completely, and it was my idea. So, <laughs> I got lucky. Was you were lucky. the fan. You were I the was... fan that that's read the shit right yeah i just got in front of the fan and, <laughs> and see where it went Gee. yeah most of pete's ideas start out with you know be cool right yeah oh god if you're ever with me and i go you know be really cool no 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 i don't know because if because if you go what yeah. the next thing you know your mouth is full of dicks right yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah pretty much that that's yeah. something that i'm sure could happen to somebody not like could that. happen to somebody right all right Ooh. so mike what, what's next? What's next? Um, Dude, I, uh, like you if have... anyone is interested in uh, what what ep- what episode is it? We were talking about the uh, sh- sh- story. I mean, Chub I don't Rope. know. If oh, worth it. that was a, no, dude. It. That was a con man episode. We never told that on the Mythwits. You know what? If you find me the footage, I will edit it down so that and put it out as a Mythwits thing. I can do that because I don't. So know we'll save we it. Can, I don't know. We if can't we can condense that, that down. 
Well, I just don't know if we can tell that story from memory now as good as it was back then. Oh, no, dude, that was beautiful. Yeah, we'll save it. Let's save it. We'll edit. We'll, we'll put that in the podcast because it was audio only. We'll put that in the podcast feed. That'll be a podcast only special. Yeah. Well, whew, got out of that one. All right. Yeah, you did. <laughs> All right, so what about – um? do you want to hear about – I didn't get any uh, feedback on, on, on rubbing. That was, uh, but we got other ones. We got good ones. Um, we can talk about what I was doing at 9-11, what happened to me in 9-11. But that, I mean, that's an, it's interesting, but it's not that interesting. Uh, it's not funny. It's not funny at all. Uh, there's a time I was driving high. Um, hmm. Steve versus the snowblower or Hammerjack's Hurlathon? Oh, Hammerjack's Hurlathon. Hammerjack's Hurlathon. All right, you know what? I'm going to let you take point on this one because you remember more about this night than I do. Yes, I <laughs> you do. Can, you can just defer to me when you get the points like, what were you doing? Yeah. <laughs> All right. All right, so, uh, oh God, what were we, 20, in our mid to late 20s? Yeah, 27-ish because I, I had yeah. been with Nicole for yeah. about two years. Yeah, so and this, about, this would make me, because I'm about three years younger than you, so this, yeah. this would make me about 24. Right. Uh, we both, we all, a group of us, we loved uh, a group of uh, electronic slash, uh, uh, what do you call it, uh, industrial group called Lords of yeah. Acid. Yes. And uh, it was a, a, you know, had a, a lady singer, and they just, uh, they you'd have to look them up. All right. Lords of Acid's so, awesome, and opening yeah. for them was My Life with the Thrill Kill Cult, which is awesome. Yes. Love yeah. them, too. All right, so... We're like, oh, we're going down to Hammerjacks now. Again, old Baltimore kind of uh, history. The old Hammerjacks doesn't even exist anymore. It now is a parking lot where the Raven Stadium is. Uh, enough said about that. We go there when it's Hammerjacks, and uh, we all get our. Oh, so, but we were at that age where you pregame, right? Everyone knows what pregaming is. You know, you're going to get a little drinking on. And, uh, okay, let me set the stage. Uh, Spence, you may have been a little too young for this, okay? But <laughs> this was this was during what I like to call the Zima era. Era. <laughs> era. Yeah, era. <laughs> because, it was like two years. <laughs> right? Yeah. Two years when, like, Zima was like the drink of drinks. You, you didn't drink anything unless you were drinking Zima. So what did we do? We drank Zima. And first of all, understand that Pete and I basically were sitting there in the kitchen – Whatever Pete drank, I drank. He slammed a Zima, I slammed a Zima. He slammed a Zima, I slammed a Zima. He ate a tuna fish sandwich, I ate a tuna fish sandwich prepared out of the same bowl with the same bread. Yep. I just feel it important to say that he slammed a Zima and I slammed a Zima. We got in the car, someone else drove, <laughs> and we went to Hammerjacks. Uh, we're sitting there, we go to the bar, we get a, wait for it, you're going to be a little surprised, we get a Zima. <laughs> Oh, and, and don't – and? And? What, what? What? Shots. Oh, yeah. Lemon yeah, drops. Me, 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 lemon drops. Lemon drops shooters. You're absolutely right. Did lemon drop shooters, one for one, got our Zima. All of a sudden, Pete goes oh. – and, and we're – I remember this. It's like the state – Hammer Jacks was a two, two-story place. There was a, a lot of different places around. The stage was not like the, in the end of the building. It was like in the middle of the building. And you could go upstairs. You could be on a catwalk, like a little walkway. And we were actually in the walk. We had great standing seats where we could see over the stage. We could actually see down. I'm not, you know what? That's a little. Like, <clears throat> so we could uh, see so, the band. Yeah, we could see the band. <laughs> Top down. And um, so Pete's like, ah, you know what? I, I got to go to the bathroom. Okay. So Pete's going to the bathroom. We're listening. Like Thrill Kill Cult's done. And um, Lords of Acid comes on. They do their first song. And I'm like, I'm having a great time. I mean, I've pre-gamed. I've had my shots. I've uh, you know, I've got my Zima in my hand. <laughs> and I'm about ready. Hey, I'm going to go to the bar and get another drink. And, of course, you know, as concerned as she ever was for you, like, you know, Nicole goes, can you go to the bathroom and check on Pete? I'm like, oh, yeah, Nicole, I guess. Nicole's my ex-wife. She was my girlfriend at the time. Right, right. So I'm like, and of course, me as the best friend, but yes, I'm obligated, but I'm still like, oh, yeah, yeah. So I go into the men's room, and um, without trying to be too 
weird about it. I'm like looking around. Like, do, 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 do. It's not by the urinals. It's not. Oh, well, maybe God, he's taking a shit or something. That's like, real bad <laughs> shit, right. you know. So, so I'm like, uh, there's a, three stalls. There's one stall, and there's a guy on his knees. And hey. I'm like, there's another guy in there with him. No, no, yeah, no. That's <laughs> <not>. <laughs> And I'm thinking, because it was like very clear as you kind of, guess, like getting closer, like you could tell this guy was just like puking his guts out. I'm just like, please, I'm just like, please don't be Pete. Please don't be Pete. Hey, Pete. Uh, like, yeah, and I'm like, oh, yeah, oh, I don't feel good. Uh, <laughs> really? Because, yeah. I mean, he is hugging a public oh. bar restroom. I mean, he is literally gripping onto that thing for dear life. Right. And he just I was stop so fucked up i was yeah. so sick i was and, like and, and, yeah. irreparably sick Look, you say effed up but it's like you were effed up not drunk because we mm -hmm. weren't that drunk we were just you know we were kind of buzzed feeling good or whatever but something hit you in a wrong way till this day i think we've both agreed that it's like you had some other bug going on and something it, had it just to. decided to hit and maybe the alcohol didn't help it at all but because back then were... dude back then i would warm up with a six pack yeah yeah you would, like, you could I would be under the table. You were going to fuck it, that I, night. I would get yeah. started with a six pack, yeah. and then we'd do some shots, and then I'd start. Then I'd start drinking. Yeah, right. and I was like, I was only like four drinks in. I think yeah. we did two Zimas at the house. We got to the bar. We did a Zima and a shot, and I was done. And and, and to your credit, you were just like, ah oh, man, I'll just go go. I'll, I'll be all right. I'll just I'm gonna. I'll be out. Ride it out. Get, to, get this out. Get this out. I was like, all right, all right. And so you know, go back. Where's Pete? Right. Well, he's kind of throwing up, but he told me to go. I mean, he's just throwing up and he's not feeling well. I was like, you know, I'll go check on him in a little while. Show me up a stair, show it to me. Da, 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 da. Yeah. And, and I'm in the toilet. I'm in the toilet. I can hear everything because yeah, the acoustics the are really good in the toilet, right? Yeah, so I'm yeah. in there and I'm like. <laughs> <laughs> right. No, I was not. I was fucking hating life. Right. And I mean. I was concerned for you. Yeah. But I'm thinking, oh, you'll be out any minute. You know? Yeah. I, I, Come on, this I, is Pete. Checked He'll on fucking... you one more. Yeah. Yeah. Checked on you one more time. You're like, ah, uh, just go, go, go. I'm fine. I'm fine. All right. Next thing you know, you know, you, you don't know when the show's going to end, but all of a sudden right. the show ends. And right. much like at some of these performing venues, I don't know if anyone has ever experienced this, but it's like, this is one of those places where when the show's over and the lights go up, the staff basically grab arms and start like walking across and if you, yeah. you know hurting you out like like a uh, like, uh, Ro red rover or something yeah you know what it's I mean? it dude it's like a windshield wiper they just, yeah, yeah. just scrape you out of the fucking out joint out the door out the right. door and so we're like oh and, and it's everything about that place was designed so that wherever you were and when you walked when they were blocking things you were just funneled out the door and the, right. we were like thinking we were going to be smart like oh we got to switch around this way and get, no we're out the door and all of a sudden we're outside and it's been a few minutes pete still hasn't come out and so like we knock on the door right do, 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 do. Yep. and like some like you know bouncer opens up the door it's like one of those side doors the kind of doors that are like there's no handles on the outside it's just like a row of doors with no handles and it just opens and he's like yeah and we're like uh a friend of ours has been in the bathroom sick and he's like yeah no one else left oh and he looks down, and like to a neck. The did next he did he do doors. a thing on the ear? Did he say he did a thing like he did this thing? Oh, they're bringing the last drunk out now. Well, all I, I don't know if he did it on the ear, but he was like, okay. he, I think he like looked down to the next set of doors. Oh, he was okay, like, all right. He's like, oh, yep, they're bringing the last drunk guy out right now. And you look down and you see Pete, like two guys. He's like just, yeah. and two guys like bring him out, and then they take him outside, and literally they go. Slip into the doors, shut them, and Pete goes. Bruh. Now there's like this planter box right there, and Pete's <laughs> right, like right. laying there, like yeah. still heaving. He's I'm like, still, still fucking heaving. And we're like, uh, Pete? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, I'll be alright. I'll be alright. I'll be alright. <laughs> I'll be alright. I'll be alright. It's like. No, dude, you're dying. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're, you're dying. You are as far from all right yeah. as all right can ever be from where you are right dude, now. It's you got to remember, look, I'm, I, and I can remember this. I remember, I remember being in the toilet. I, I didn't, like, fucking pass out, no, unfortunately. I, I 
Unfortunately, I never fucking passed out. I just hugged that toilet and I was sick. And every time I tried to get up, every time I tried to lift my head up, like, I mean, literally, like, I'm like, like this. And I'm like, oh, I think, I think I'm okay. I think I'm okay. And I got to lift my head up and fucking vertigo. And I'd have to put my head back down. And when the guys pick me up and they're carrying me out, the fucking place, these dudes are like spinning around me. Like, mm -hmm. like I was, I was so screwed. And when they let me go outside the door, like the whole fucking, everything is spinning. Yeah. When I hit the ground, I just started throwing up again because, and I didn't have anything. It was dry heaves. Yeah, you I'm like, right. And they had to pick me up. So Mike and Camille, so Camille was uh, with us. It was me. Uh, so it was me and Mike. And then my ex-wife, girlfriend at the time and her, one of her best friends, Camille went mm -hmm. and my, <laughs> I should have known, right? My girlfriend at the time, she's like, I can't deal with this. She starts fucking walking away. She like, like, literally just fucking left me. She like, <laughs> now I don't, I didn't get mad because I didn't totally blame her. I might have done the same thing. I mean, it was pretty embarrassing because there was people. There was like, there was probably a hundred people out there, right? Oh yeah, everyone's yeah, easily, yeah. right? So Mike and Camille pick me up and they're carrying me to the car and I sm I must have smelled like. I must have smelled awful because Camille said that she couldn't eat tuna fish for like 10 years. <laughs> I, just, I just remember like thinking to myself, holy shit, like a, a, a Titan has fallen tonight. Yeah. Yeah. It was embarrassing. <laughs> I was a drinker, man. I was, I was a fucking, uh. but, but, and, and you, I mean, you literally could not stand on your own feet. Like, no, you know, we done. had, we supported you. I think my you... feet were dragging on the <laughs> ground, right? A little bit, a little bit. You were just sort of like trying. And so we got you the car. And, of course, I think at that point somebody was like, I don't know if it was me or someone had the sense to be like, a hey, uh, cup or something for you. But uh, to your credit, you didn't actually throw up again. And you started yeah. to come out of that. By the time we were on the road and you were getting some air, and, and even you were perplexed. Now, yeah. we at the time, being young and dumb, were just like, yeah, whatever – Whatever. Whatever drunky, like, yeah, can't hold your yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah. Right. <laughs> Ooh, like, guys, you got fucked on. up by Zima. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, guys. Come on. Right. Guys. But yeah. but no, it, you were just like, no, there is something wrong with me. And then even you had the sense to be like, didn't we drink the same? I'm like, yeah, we kind of did. Like, and then it, it occurred to me, like, we went tit for tat, like yeah, all literally what I drank is what yeah. you drank. And what, what I, I ate is what you ate. You ate. Yep. And so the only thing I could think of, because this shit does happen, I, I, I always say it doesn't. You know, I'm like, oh, come on. When does that shit happen? But it, it has to. <clears throat> it is possible I had it, one of two things. I had some kind of bug. Like mm -hmm. I just happened to get some kind of fucking like, like uh, what is that, Vero? What is, I forget what that, that virus that kids get. Um, but I either had some kind of fucking really nasty virus or um, – or maybe I ate something earlier in the day that was just hitting me, right? Or somebody roofied me, which is possible because I know people do that shit, you know? I mean, I'm not one to go to that as, as a first like as a first thing, but could have been. Could have been. Yeah, I don't think you know what roofying is. That's... <laughs> Well, no, I mean drug, That's drugging not my drink. That's what happens to you. No, 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 no. I, I don't mean like roof and all. I just mean, you know, spiked my drink. Yeah. Like the fuck with me because there are people that do that. They'll like, ha, 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 watch this, you know, yeah. and they fuck somebody up. Like I, I heard somewhere that they put – if you put like Visine in somebody's drink, you can fuck them up really bad. Yeah. Oh, no. oh, that's it. Spence said right. She's right. Norovirus. It could have been norovirus. Right. That'll it's do a, that to you. Doesn't the Visine give you – just like, the shits. Actually, diarrhea. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I didn't have that. For, oh my god, that would have been a whole nother level. Yeah, <laughs> we would have been rolling you with our feet right. if that were the case. You'd have been calling my cousin to come pick me up. Is what you'd have been doing. <laughs> Bring a shovel. Nah, man. We were all we were all buds. Come on, we'd have had your back. Oh, I don't know. Not that back. <laughs> <laughs> no, I right. was that. So, that was something. What's what's good? Come on, give us some. What's some feedback in the chat room? It's killing me that I can't have. Oh, video uh, no, on my Sp phone. Spence said norovirus. Uh, oh, Spence said yeah, visine equals diarrhea. You're right. Yeah, we agree. Uh, Paul Nunes, Nunes uh, he posted a YouTube video, but we'll watch that later. 
Uh, when I said I was in the stall on my knees with another guy, he said twenty dollars oh. is twenty dollars. That is true. Um, I was poor back then. I might have considered it. Uh, oh, Paul. Uh, Spence said she, she. I got my shots. I had my Zima. Sounds like you're going on safari. That's about it. Oh, Spence called us a dirty old man. She's right. I agreed. Oh, because yeah. we were we're looking down. At the eh. yeah. Eh. It was a, it was a good. Good vantage point. Good vantage point. Mm -hmm. All right, so Mike, we have about five-ish minutes left. Do we want to wrap up with anything? Or? Uh, I mean, I, I just want to say uh, I appreciate everyone just tuning in. Um, I hope we've been at least somewhat entertaining because I believe that it's important for us to keep going. Uh, you know, me being on vacation, I I kind of realized after the fact, oh. Shit, I just committed to all this, and it's going to be during the show. And I also want to thank Jennifer, my lovely sleeping friend over there. I don't know if she's pretending yeah. or not, but uh, because she was totally supportive of, of, of us doing this. Um, okay. You know, we're gonna we're gonna go down after this is done. We're gonna walk down to the boardwalk, walk down a couple streets, and there's supposed to be fireworks tonight. So, right. um, it's, oh. it's just been a nice like vacation. Oh. I have an announcement. Okay, so there's two announcements. I got two announcements. Two announcements. All right. So I keep wanting to pump Game School. Game School is coming. Me, Spence, and James have been working on it really hard. Uh, mm -hmm. They've recorded. Spence, and James have recorded three episodes. I've already listened nice. to the first one that Spence edited. It's fantastic. It's going to be a fucking great season. We got a lot a more down. coming. Um, Are the Game Schools all um, audio? Yes, it's just audio for now. Okay. For now. For now, we're talking about doing like some live play stuff on video, like stream, live streaming video and stuff. That'll come. Let Let's get this season moving. Oh, she says uh, she's gonna mix some audio right after this. So yeah, game school is going along really nicely. I'm fucking and happy as can be with that. I I how about this? I will make this offer. I will subscribe to it and listen every week as a quality control. Uh, because I know sometimes that's hard to do. It's, it's hard to have it once you've been involved with it and you're done with it. You're just like, all right, that's out of our way. Okay. I'll, I'll, yeah. I'm willing to be a quality control person on that. It's like in every to, other week. But that's good. Okay. And they're great shows. And it's very yeah. entertaining. You will not be disappointed. Trust me. Yeah. It's very good. Oh, I, I've been on game school. What are, you what are you talking about? All right. All right. So, uh, so that's the first announcement. The second announcement. Um, hey, Mike. You? I'm going to Uranus. That's right. In are two you? weeks. In two weeks, I am going to Fort Leonard Wood, Missouri. I am going to be going to the Mecca. Uh, I'm pilgrimaging to Uranus, Missouri. Home of the I'm fudge packing plant. Home of the, the fudge pack. You get your fudge. I'm going to get my fudge packed the, in Uranus. The local, the local union, local fudge packing union. What is it? Yeah, number, local fudge, uh, yeah. number two, right? Yeah, I think so. Number two, they're there. Well, you know, um, you know, you're gonna have to give me a T-shirt. Yes. Oh, fuck yeah, absolutely. Uh, but right. what I'm also gonna try and do is I'm gonna try and get in touch with that guy between now and then and get a good interview, good video interview that we can post uh, about like how Uranus came to be and how, how the he, sausage like, is made. How the sausage is made in Uranus, <laughs> right? <laughs> Um, also oh, get some. I'm cool. also gonna get some video. They have. They have. Uh, he opened no, up our range. Not, that's not geeky content. I don't know what is. Right. He opened up uh, an axe throwing thing, and it's <laughs> it's called the axe hole. <laughs> so we're gonna do axe throwing, um, and we're gonna buy some oh. fudge, and we're gonna we're gonna do all the things, all the your all the things in Uranus that Pack are fun fresh, to do. Yeah. You gotta, you gotta get fudge pack fresh from Uranus. Right, that's correct. So all it right, is all gonna right, be. Hey, 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 you're gonna bring me some, right? Oh yeah. I will, I will eat pud, fudge pack fresh from Uranus. Yes, yes, you will. It's good fudge too. God you like knows it? I've had now, Mike, in my mouth. Huh? I have to know. Are you? Do you like nuts? You a nuts guy or no nuts in your? Fudge? You know what? You can surprise me. I. There's, there is not any. It usually is a surprise, you know. I'll be yeah, like, yeah. "Oh, I hadn't realized Whatever's that there would be nuts." Day. Whatever's yeah, fresh off the fresh. line. <laughs> Whatever's fresh and warm. Oh, I can't wait. I cannot wait. I told Lisa. So Lisa's my government boss, and she is she's the one who's running this job. And she said, "We've got travel. We got a bunch of travel coming up for this project, right?" And I was like. 
I was like, look, because it's it, one of the things is uh, so she was telling me all the places it's going. And one of the places is South Korea. So South Korea, there's Germany, there's Alaska, there's Hawaii. And I told her, I was like, I don't give a fuck about Alaska, Hawaii or Germany, believe it or not, <laughs> because I've been to all those places. Right. I want to go to South Korea. So give me South Korea. I was like, and and I looked at her and I said, and I really want to go to Uranus. <laughs> and she goes, what? She listens, she's. What? And I was like, Fort Leonard Wood. The Uranus is right outside of Fort Leonard. She's like, what? So I told her about it. She's like, oh, okay, right. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, it's going to be yeah. awesome. God, it's going to be so that's... awesome. I can't wait. Can't wait. So you're going to – wow. You're going to – so what, are you going to be there on a – oh, all right. We got to talk about this. Man, I... I won't be – I don't know if I'll be there on a Monday, maybe, um, right. because it, it depends on when they're open. I know Axe mm -hmm. Hole is only open on Wednesday. It's Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Right. Um, but they're not open on Monday, Tuesday, or Monday or Sunday, Monday or Tuesday. I'm I'm leaving Sunday, so I'll be in Fort Leonard Wood on Monday. So we can do a show, but I don't know if we can do it from Uranus, Mike. But if we can, I'm so down. If I could, if that could be Listen. our guest, right? Well, that listen. would be the shit. Worst comes to worst, you give us a very detailed and thorough field report from Uranus. I will. I will tell you everything. Even if you from... have video that you need to play and we comment on or something like that, yeah, I think we could get away I could with do that. that. Right. It'll be, a, yeah. you know, the video will be from deep within Uranus. Yeah. Yeah. Quality. Quality. Yes. <laughs> yes. It'll be high, hot high def. off the presses. <laughs> high def. High def, yes. So, I am. Oh, bad bun, Pete. It is not the shit. It is the shit, Uranus. I'm telling you, it's the shit. So, anyway, so that's what's com coming in a couple weeks. I I'll figure out what to do with that. If, right, if I can, we'll if I can get an interview, yeah. that'll be that'll be the way sure. to go. Definitely. Yes. So. Well, I'm very That's proud one of the you. things that's coming up. Oh, and Starla Hodgson is coming up in August. Uh, yes, other than I saw that, her on the schedule. I saw yep. Her on the schedule. Other than that, I, I don't have anything for next week. Got to figure out what next week's going to be. We'll find something. We'll figure it we out. We will. But, yeah. but uh, hey, I we don't think know. I, know. I know somebody who is will want to, wanting to come on the show, talk about some more SCA stuff. Oh, I, there's somebody who might want to come on the show and talk about yeah. SCA stuff. I, we, 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 we'll have to, you know, we, we don't want to make that the entire thing because we no. certainly did cover some SCA uh, right. information. Right. Very important SCA right. related uh, material this, this evening. You know, Maybe we, you know, what we should do next week. We should do. We should have. Um, we should have Jonathan Reinhardt. We should have Spence and James come on and talk about TSR Podcasting Network that's going to be launching again, like in full force, over the next month. We could talk about SCA because I'm sure James has been. James has done SCA stuff. That's fine. I'll go for that. But I also want to have a sub. Just you know how we do. We talked about the fact that we just. Whatever we do, whatever we talk about, blah, blah, blah. It's got to have some other, you know, uh, topic. I don't know if it's a movie. You saw Jurassic Park. I've seen it. Maybe if other people have seen it, we can just do a movie talk. We also yeah. – oh, and even if we do that, and God, my God, we, it's too late now. But we gotta, we got to do like a live discussion about the movie uh, draft because it's, uh, it's heating up. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I have, to, I have to do a report. I'll do a report tomorrow. All right, so yeah. anybody watching right now, I'm going to do a movie draft report tomorrow. It's and, and look at last week's because there's certainly a lot of discussion and a lot of interesting. Yeah. Uh, there, might, there might even be an upset this week. I haven't looked yet. I haven't looked at the numbers, but there could be. It's conceivable. It's conceivable. This week will we, either uh, be a switch up, and if it's not, it'll be a fight for the next couple of weeks. It'll be very so, interesting. So just as a stingy little discussion before we leave. Before we leave this uh, this discussion, uh, quick. What, what what are we? Uh, you and I. What have we got coming up? Movies we had. Uh... I don't know. I can't tell you right off the top of my head. We got three. We got three are going to drop next week. It's, it's next week. Three are dropping. I think right? it's next week. Th three movies ours are going to drop. You're going to see our score go. Pew. Well, Ant Man and the Wasp is ours, and that dropped. Oh, maybe that was this week. Okay, maybe it was yeah. this week. Ant Man yeah. and the Wasp, and then. Fuck, I don't know. Shit. I don't, dude, tomorrow. You'll find out tomorrow. Yeah. Stay tuned. <laughs> oh, oh. The uh, the movie that's got legs. Well, leg. The movie that's leg. got a leg. Skyscraper. On. Yes. It's going to be, uh, you know, very... Um, it'll leave 
no one left standing. Right, right. So, yeah. We may have to lean to on that movie, you know. We need that to overperform is what we really right, need. Right. <laughs> so we need, maybe we should stop busting on it. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> mm, yeah, because I don't know how good Ant-Man and the Wasp did. We bought tickets the day of, so I'm a little like, eh. And it was the opening weekend, so I'm kind of like, eh. It was so good, though, dude. It was you, so good. Oh, so you, you saw it? Oh, yeah, dude. Okay. Are you an Ant-Man fan? Did you like the first one? Sure, I did, definitely. Okay. Yeah, yeah. All right, and second I know, one I know you're a fucking, fan. Second one was even better, I think. Okay, all right. So then, good. Yeah, we'll be seeing it. I don't know if we're going to get a chance to see it before next weekend, but for sure we're going to see it. Big big fan of the Ant-Man. I like, because I, I like Paul Rudd, man, and I like the funny Marvel movies. And it's yeah. serious, and it's got really good action and shit like that, but it's also got plenty of funny. And it's funny delivered by a comedian, by a comedic actor, yeah. you know what I mean? So it's, it's good. We need some funny after that goddamn, um, uh, what do you call it? Infinity Avengers? War, man. <sighs> man. Oh. They don't skip. <laughs> it's not it's not untouched it's in the it's in the line of fire what that's is? all i'm gonna say ant-man oh ant-man takes place about the same time that's all yeah. i'm gonna say well okay i mean I don't know if it's worth you saying you were close or far away from your prediction that you talked about weeks ago. About I Ant-Man. am not going to say. I don't want to ruin anything. No okay. spoilers. No spoilers like, from I, this boy. I like that. I the like only that. thing I'm going to say is that it does absolutely tie into Avengers right. Infinity War. Well, I kind of feel like uh, – what's his name? Will Conaway is our, our resident um, – Marvel, and if, if in a couple of weeks we want to have a discussion on it, maybe we should have Will back on because we we seem to really have good discussions when he's on. Yeah, we should. We so, should. all right, all right, we gotta go, all Mike. Right. Let's Cut do the thing. thing. All right. Ah, uh, la 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 la. You've just enjoyed another awesome episode of the Mythwits. We're live on Facebook Mondays at 9 p.m. Eastern Time. Please ask our guests questions or just us if we're talking, you know, or just banter with the other Mythfits. If you miss our live show, you can always catch the Encore episode on Facebook or on YouTube. You know, this was really good with the chat room because it was just us talking and we could integrate with our folks. It was awesome. I love the us... chat room. I was, yeah, man. I, can't, I hated not being able to be yeah. a part of it. You guys know that. That's true. Uh, find us on Facebook and Twitter, Smithwits, and check out Mythwits.com. If you don't have time for videos, make sure to subscribe to our podcast via your favorite podcatcher, or you can listen at Mythwits.podbean.com. Do you like, follow, subscribe thing wherever it's appropriate? Make sure to share your favorite episode on social media to help spread Mythwits love over the entire planet. Maybe not this one. I mean, this is a great episode, oh. but maybe, I, I don't know. This episode typical. is, is it's sprinkled with all kinds of in interesting information. Sprinkle, it is sprinkled. Sprinkled, yes. Mythwits is part of the TSR Podcast Network. Check out TSRPN.com for more cool shows. Mythwits is a Creative Commons product. Like and share it in all the places. Just don't edit it. Don't sell it. And Mike, I was going to say, don't forget to put powder on it, but we didn't tell that story. <laughs> Make sure you have to listen to the audio podcast in a couple weeks for that. Make sure to check out Studio187.com for more cool stuff. <laughs> Join our mailing list. <laughs> Thanks, everybody, for listening. Tell your friends to tune in. And until next week, Mike. Do you see this? Do you see yes. this? This is the difference between a normal, everyday stand at the urinal and throwing yourself under the bus on a podcast. Know it. Love it. Live it. Wear it. Wear it. <laughs>